It's never actually been easier to scale as an AI operator because NA10 just dropped their AI workflow builder. The Zero setup is built right in and it can generate complete workflows from just a single prompt in less than 60 seconds. I've spent the last week testing this tool, building workflows for my agency clients to find out what actually works versus what's just hype. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly when to use it, when not to use it, and how this either makes you three times more productive or completely replaceable. And that gap is the difference between builders stuck at one to 2K a month versus the AI operators pulling in 30, 40, 50K a month. But before I show you how to use it, here's exactly what the AI builder actually does. So you know how building a normal workflow of like moderate complexity can take two, three, four, five hours. You're usually spending your time figuring out the JSON expressions that you pass between the nodes, HTTP requests, and a bunch of troubleshooting and debugging as you figure out how to get the output that you want. And to be honest, it can sometimes get a bit tedious. And now you can literally just describe what you want in natural language. So for example, build me a new scraper for my industry that sends me a notification of the top posts every day on Slack. You hit enter and NA10 in less than 60 seconds will lay out the complete structure for your workflow. All the nodes, all the connections, all the logic, the expressions, the code, if they're using a code node, and it will even write the prompts for your AI agents. But, and more importantly, it's not production ready. The AI will give you the structure, but you still have to go in there and work out the prompts, fix the errors, the bugs, do some troubleshooting, improve the prompts in the AI agents, and maybe tweak some of the code nodes if that's something that is featured in your workflow. So think of it of going from a blank canvas to an outline of the painting. And all you have to do is finish the painting. But here's the kicker, you still need to know how to actually paint in order to finish the painting. And that's what I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's go over to my laptop and I'll show you exactly how to use this AI builder. I'm gonna do a live demonstration of me building a workflow so you could see how I go from the V1, let's say, that the builder gives me to a finished working production ready workflow. All right, so we're inside NA10 and you can see we have the build with AI feature here. This is what's gonna allow us to build with natural language. So we're gonna click on this and it should open up the window for us to enter a prompt. This should have been rolled out to everybody with NA10 cloud account. And so if you are using self-hosted, you won't unfortunately have this feature. It is in beta still right now, so it's not perfect. They are working on this behind the scenes, but let's give it a go. So I've got an idea here for lead research and scoring. So if a lead comes in to my CRM, let's say I'm using Go High Level, I wanna then go off and do some research, let's say with perplexity and score that lead and then create a report to get emailed to me to prepare me for the call ahead. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So I'm just gonna use Whisperflow to voice note in here and tell the AI exactly what we want. And then we wanna create a short report that will get emailed to me to help me prepare for the call ahead. Make sure to include any error handling with any APIs that are included. Let's see what you've got. So that's gonna be my prompt. You can't put in a super long prompt in here. I don't know how many characters maximum, but it's not a ton. So I've been quite general and brief with the outline. So let's see what it comes up with. All right, so this is what it's given us. And we can see it's, it's pretty basic. It's a fairly simple use case. I just wanted to do something pretty straightforward so this video wouldn't drag on, but I can immediately see there's some errors with this. It's not gonna run as is because we need to add some credentials. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but it is the overall structure that I was looking for. We've got some API error handling here if perplexity doesn't give us anything useful. So what I'm gonna come in and do is fix all of this stuff. You can see on the right-hand side, the AI assistant has given us suggestions on how to set up this workflow. So we can complete these steps and fix up all of the credentials. Now, the trigger here is a webhook. So what I can do in Go High Level, when a new contact books a call, I can trigger a webhook to send that data to this workflow. So let's fix all this up and see how it runs. All right, okay guys, as you can see, 
I've fixed up some of the nodes and we've got a working workflow. So my webhook is working. I'm getting data from Go High Level. As you can see here, I've got all these fields, these custom fields. We're then cleaning that data for just the information that we need. So in this case, I'm using email, website, and name. We're then using an AI agent. We've got a user message and a system prompt to do research on the prospect. And we've hooked that up to Perplexity using Open Route. Now, previously in the version that N810 Builder created us, this was just a single node for Perplexity. I wanted an AI agent. It's going to give me more flexibility with the prompting, and I can also hook this up to Open Router. Now we're checking if we've actually got an output. If we do, we can format the pre-call report, and then we can generate the email and get that sent out. This is what the email looks like. So it's not pretty, but it's done a bunch of research, and this is all the valuable information that I can use in my sales calls, right? So we can format this. We could use a code node to format this. So we've got headings and, and, and body copy and all that good stuff. But in terms of getting something up and running and working, that took me about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes to configure everything, to bring the data through and to get to that end stage. Now, let me break down what this actually means for your business. So I want to be completely honest about what this is and what this isn't. Now, this isn't some magic pill that can build anything you want perfectly. In my opinion, you still need the technical skill and understanding to know what nodes to replace, how to configure them, and get the outputs that you want. We saw that the builder didn't use any of the native community nodes. That's a, and that's something, if you didn't know that they existed, you would probably have happily gone along with the plan and the workflow that it created for you. This is great for a V1. It's great for scaffolding. You could even build this live on a sales call and show like a basic proof of concept for a client so they could actually see something on the screen, even though it's not going to work. But ultimately, this is not a production-ready workflow. This builder is not a replacement for your own skill and experience. It doesn't understand business logic. It doesn't even understand all the community nodes that are available. I would say it's basically right now on par with the Claude and NA10 MCP method, which I have covered in a different video. If you want to check that out, it should be on the screen right now. So when this tool dropped, people were preaching that this is going to eliminate the need for technical builders. And maybe in the future, when this gets better, it's going to lower the barrier even further. But this is no replacement for understanding somebody's problem and being able to create a system that solves that problem. And that is really what we do as AI operators. We're not just technical builders, we're problem solvers. Clients are not paying you to drag nodes around and figure out what code nodes to put where. They're actually paying you for a specific outcome. They're paying you to solve an expensive problem that's going to bring them value in their business and organization. So this just means it's going to speed up your building process, which means you're going to be able to ship workflows much faster. When you ship something in, let's say, three or four days versus three or four weeks, that's just going to be a happier client. So here's the thing, to be a top 1% AI operator, you need to understand how to diagnose problems and extract them from your prospects and clients in order to actually build a solution for it. Now you can probably figure all this stuff out yourself, but operators that move and scale fast, they usually get direct feedback on their own challenges and problems before wasting months down the YouTube rabbit hole. And that's why I've created the AI operator method. It's a NA10 mentorship that takes you from zero to AI operator in 90 days. And over the last eight years, I've generated over $25 million in revenue for my clients. And so I've broken down the process that I use to build workflows in NA10. I take you through the whole idea extraction process, client acquisition, and some more advanced skills and workflow builds. Essentially, so you can get the most out of the tools that you've got and understand how to diagnose and extract pain points and problems from your prospects and clients that you can build solutions for. So if you are curious about how to apply, there is a link below in the description. And if you want to know the top five mistakes to avoid on your NA10 journey, then click the next video on the page right now.